Un grand sommet noir tombe sous ma vie. Dormez tout espoir, dormez toute envie. Je ne vois plus rien, je perds la mémoire du mal et du bien. Oh, la triste histoire. No, Zenia. I'm not asleep. Papa, it's almost two o'clock. zu erlangen. Schau er nach dem Glanze dort. Leiser bist du nur umfangen. Schlaf ist Schale. Wirf sie vor. Continue, Ora. Continue.
Dante Tetuani. Thank you very much. I beg your pardon, but I think you're in my window seat. Oh, me, I'd, I'd recognize that face almost anywhere. Oh. No, uh, they don't tell me it's, um... How do you do? My uh, name is Jason King. Jason King. Of course. I believe there are a few imitations about, but... <laughs> oh, it's Donna. Donna Charles. And I've got your seat. I'm frightfully sorry, but... Oh, no, 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 please don't. No, not at all. Perhaps we can swap on the equator or something. Are you sure? Yeah, not at all. Oh, it's very nice of you. Oh. Oh, mine. Sorry. <laughs> Practically sorry. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are clear for takeoff. Would you recheck your seatbelts, please? Good morning. This is your captain speaking. We are flying at an altitude of 26,000 feet, and our speed is 580 miles per hour. We can expect good weather all the way. And I take this opportunity to wish you an enjoyable flight. Mmm. I think I will drink to that. What would you like? Brandy, please. Yes, I think I'll have one, too. I say, I think we've chosen the right time to take this trip. end up in a civil war. Sorry? Well, look, the left front have kidnapped the president's daughter. Look, there she is. Oh, yes, I heard it on the car radio. It's beautiful, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, pretty. Um, what takes you on this trip? Pleasure, a little observation for Mark. He's itching for a new background. And you? I'm buying wine. How long will that take? Oh, I shall be away about a week. Have you any time for relaxation? Well, why don't you telephone me and find out? Where are you staying? The Grand Bretagne? Yes. How convenient. So am I. Hmm. I've been an amateur wine taster since I was about four. But I'm quite willing to learn, especially from a professional. Will you complete my education? Well, maybe we could uh, make it a reciprocal arrangement. <laughs> A ghost. Yes, I have. And he's very much in the present. Here? On the aeroplane? Yes. Yes, the president. Why is there more than one? Yes, I hold. Well, the president. 
president is in residence. I mean, he's in the country. Who? Or does he speak English? Yes, I'm home. It's taking nearly 30 minutes to get through to you. You think I'd exhibit that kind of patience if it wasn't of the utmost importance? I can't disturb President Pargos at the moment, Mr. King. You must understand, he hasn't slept for the last two nights. I don't know who you are, but your president is in grave danger. This warning may be too late. Do you understand? Stay where you are, Mr. King. I'll have you picked up straight away. You have news of my daughter? Uh, no, Mr. President. Then why have you disturbed me? I gave instructions. I had a call from the airport. Jason King. King? Yes. He says your life is in imminent danger. He is a man to be taken seriously. I thought it advisable you should see him. You thought it advisable? Most emphatically. Mr. King, I am aware that in my country's present situation, an attempt upon my life is possible. But there is no way that this assassin you recognize could attack me here. I have warned you because I want to prevent a murder, not a martyrdom. This man is a highly paid professional assassin. He's not some nervous, idealistic student. And just look at this place. It's overlooked on all sides. I am not a fool, Mr. King. This whole area is covered by army patrols in anticipation of just such an attempt. It would be impossible. <laughs> but I thank you for your warning. <laughs> There were.
come in. Oh, Mr. Nicoyeran. Oh, good morning, Miss Charles. Um, I haven't called for you too early. No, 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 not at all. I was just hoping... Or rather, I thought it might be somebody else. Ah, yes. Uh, I thought that uh, if we were to visit the vineyards, yes. uh, an early start would be desirable. Certainly. May I get my things? Uh, it is convenient. Oh, but of course. Why not? Uh, what of your visitor? Oh, he'll just have to leave a message. Uh, someone special? Yes. Yes, rather special. Ah. Oh, a minute. Attractive. I'm aware of that, Mr. King. I used to play quite well. Do you know that I was a child, uh, uh, your daughter, does she play? May I remind you that in five days' time she faces execution. And all you have to do is to release the prisoners and your daughter will be freed. The President gave an undertaking that he would not accede to threats under any circumstances. Defeat in this would be disaster for the country. Chaos. Anarchy. You know the record of President Parkos. I don't have to give you the list of his achievements. You certainly don't. You saved my life, Mr. King. I hope you'll keep it a secret. Now I ask you to save that of my daughter, Zinnia. The President has great confidence in your abilities, Mr. King. You will not fail him. And what does that mean? You made it quite clear where your sympathies lie when you signed that petition for the release of political prisoners. Difficulties could be created for you. Your passport could be held. Mr. King is not a man to yield to pressure, Hora. Right? Thank you. But I ask you to consider Xenia. Please, help me. But why should I? For the same instinctive reason that you saved my life. That, that, that was purely humanitarian. No, I'm a writer with an insatiable curiosity for solving problems that doesn't turn me into the scarlet pimpernel overnight. I know this is a particularly interesting problem. It's diverting. It, uh, it's a formidable challenge. But I can't. I, I couldn't... Uh, the guard who was shot was shot in the back. How was he found uh, in relation to the building? Face down. Um, head towards the building. What time was that? Oh, shortly after three. Something up here must have diverted him. Was she in the habit of leaving the windows open? She might have been. She liked fresh air. As head of security, I always advised her to keep them locked at night. This other bed was left. Yes, I gave instructions that nothing in the room was to be touched. This is faint. I think you can just get a whiff of it. Perfume. No anesthetic. How many on the staff? When the president is in residence, 12 to 14. Give me the names, the backgrounds of the younger members. Marvelous thing about the youth of today is how we make a virtue of the obvious. I have brought you some tea, Mr. King. How kind. On whose instructions, Nareen? The President himself. Thoughtful of him. Was she on duty the night that uh, uh, Xenia was taken? Yes, she was. She's young, the combination fits. Would you order me some champagne? The tea was tepid. We must make her talk. No, no, not yet. They wouldn't have told her where they've taken them. Um, um... Do you know a contact link? No, oh, you're right, they wouldn't. Having found the start of the thread that leads into the labyrinth, follow it. Marquet in Opus One. Haven't you forgotten something, Mr. King? Have I? If we take no action with Nareen... Oh, is that her name? Nareen, yes. She will get in touch with the Executive Council of the MLF. I am anticipating that. They will order your death. Are you also anticipating that? Hardly. Killing a known sympathizer would only damage their cause. Oh, they are quite used to fitting the cause to suit the crime. Whereas you fit the crime to suit the cause. Aren't you forgetting something? What's that, Mr. King? My champagne.
an assassin. As he fired at the president from the hills overlooking the villa, one of the guards shot him dead. Who hired him, do we know? No. A neighboring country, perhaps? Or one of the great powers? Yes. In our country's present situation, our enemies are only too ready to take advantage. Perhaps it was for the best. The security at the villa will be tightened up even more. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? I'm sorry? We, of all people, should be concerned for the safety of the president. But his daughter is only a bargaining hostage as long as he remains in power. Yes? Yes, I'll send Marco. Nerina sent word she wants to make contact. She has news. It's urgent! Marco, how goes it? Haven't seen your face lately. It goes, Patron. It goes. Glass of white? Cold, eh? It's always cold. So, what's the news, Nerine? You look like you've seen a black cat. Oran has brought in a man, an expert. Senor? Jason King. Doesn't he write those uh, Mark Cain books? Yes. Already he knows we have someone inside. You better tell me all you know, Nerin. His name is Marco Colby. He was arrested during the April riots last year. He was released after questioning. He left university last summer. After the April riots? No record. No record. He's very physical. The scobulus of Myron. Very good in the taverna brawl. Not much of a thinker. Time, Mr. King, is pressing in our backs. When today is over, we have only three left. Mathematics happened to escape me, Mr. President. When faced with a key move, I have to stop the clock. See the winning sequence. Just don't stop it for too long, that is all. Come around, we will leave Mr. King to his move. Oran, the address on the back of the photograph, is that his? Uh, yes, it's his last known address. We have now to decide how great the threat this Jason King is to our security. I say no threat. 
is a manufacturer of confection for the bourgeoisie. Have you seen his photograph? The man is an affected fop. Have you read him? Of course not. Am I bourgeois? Nicholas, please. Well, I have read him. He's inventive, imaginative. And don't let his appearance fool you. He was with the S department in Paris. He's capable of anything. Yes, he would be stupid to underestimate him. We already have plenty of evidence to support this. While well, he remains in the president's villa, what harm can he do? Who says he'll stay there? He'll come into the city, ask around. And what'll he find? Marco, perhaps? If Nerine was followed? Nerine knows her business. We can't be sure. We can't be sure of anything. Nerine must be under suspicion at the villa. She could be arrested at any time. Questioned. She will say nothing. She cannot tell them where Xenia is because she does not know. I insist we do not underestimate King. I don't like to say it because I have an admiration for the man. But if he leaves the villa, we must kill him. Why not take him as the second hostage? Surely that would strengthen our hand. There are only three days left to the ultimatum. Even your Superman can't beat that one simple factor. I say again, ignore him. I agree with Nicholas. Ah. To ignore him would be supremely foolish. I have the utmost respect for the man's talent. That is why we must kill him as soon as he makes his move. So, we have three possibilities. We will take a vote to decide. First, do we take no action? Do we then dispose of him? Oh, tea time. How huh? lovely. Yes, Nareen? Now, don't go. Talk to me. You think the MLF leaders will carry out their threat? This isn't your affair, Mr. King. Why don't you go back to Paris? I shall presently. A word in your ear. You better leave before I do. I don't understand. What do you mean? You mean the expression, a word in your ear? Listen to me, Mr. King. You really must... Couldn't have picked a worse moment. I'm sorry. I've been putting myself in the place of the MLF leaders, and I've come to the conclusion that you were mistaken about the action they'd take against me. Oh? What then do you conclude? Well, if I were them, and I found that I'd made myself available, I might take me on as a second hostage. Without being too immodest, I think I'd be quite a prize. Well, you're entitled to your opinion, but uh, I don't share it. No. Oh. Well, we'll soon see who is right. In After You Death... Have you read it? No. Oh. Well, Mark Cain... Mark Cain? Yes, I'm so glad you sat down. Uh, devise this plan. I hope they haven't read it. He devised this plan whereby... Mark got hold of this tiny little brandy flask, you see. And he... Uh... but I, I can't help myself. It's a dangerous condition to be in. Makes you very vulnerable. Do not go into the city tomorrow, please. Why not? I can say no more. Can't you? Please, take an escort to the airport and leave the country. What's going to happen to me? I've told you all I can. Have you? I'm very touched by your concern. But I'm committed to 
to know what that means. I have warned you. That's all I can do. Thank you. Caesar. Morgiore, te salutamos. Needless to say, Mr. King, you carry all our hopes today. What's that expression? Uh, something, something of a hope shared? You can depend entirely upon my side of the plan. You know that. No? Huh? Oh, yes, yes, I have every confidence in your... Uh, uh, and what else have I forgotten? <laughs> I was applying first pressure. Dead center on the site suddenly wasn't there. He must have thrown himself across the passenger seat. Intuition. As soon as the car stopped, he must have made a lightning calculation, preempted our plan. He never showed again. I went down, the car door was open. Almost certainly he got away into the trees, under the cover of the car. The possibility should have been accounted for. Well, what did I tell you about this man, huh? We have only to keep our heads. Remain flexible. What do we do? Wait for his next move. Maybe we've scared him back to the villa. <laughs> you want to make a bet? Marco Colbe, friend of mine, whoa, lived in the district. I called his address. He's not there. Do you know where I might find him? I can see you're thinking about it. Marco. The names are somewhere in the back here. Do you think you could force it out to the front? 
but I know several Marcos. Unfashionably broad-shouldered, slim-hipped, uh, forehead slopes a little longish hair. Um, oh. Fairly tall. Broad-shouldered? Possibly. Possibly. I think I could contact a friend of his. Now? Who do I say wants him? Jason King. King's at Kotchek's, looking for you, Marco. Keep him there. We'll make contact. I said we must remain flexible. This is too good an opportunity to miss. Mr. Nakoran. Yes, yes, this is Miss Charles speaking. No, I haven't forgotten. No, six o'clock. Yes. Yes, fine. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> I am sorry, Mr. King. What for? I have not stopped asking you questions. It's just that uh, I never expected to meet you. Oh, I know exactly how you feel. It's a very rare pleasure for me, too. But let's stop talking about me. Let's talk about you. What did you think of my book? <laughs> I, I thought it was marvelous. <laughs> but I don't believe you. Why not? You meet too many women. I cannot be rare. You've been reading the headlines. Your reputation precedes you. Gossip. But half true? Only if I'm frustrated. Are you often... Frustrated? Depends. Am I too serious? Much. I'm sorry. Marco Colby. <laughs> I had forgotten. Is it uh, important that you see him? No, no, it's not important. Just that I met him here a couple of years ago. I'd just like to see him again. Uh, another book? Possibly. Have you eaten? No, would you like something? Oh, perhaps you could recommend a restaurant. Gotchek's cold chicken is very good. Oh, does that mean we have to eat here? It's a beautiful day. Say no more. One thing is certain, they were not followed. Lila. Hmm? This is an inspired idea of yours. Better than Kotchek. Mm. Oh, what about Marco? It will not be possible to contact him before evening. I think I'm going to take your advice and lead the simple life. <laughs> Jeez. What? Is that what it is? It is perfect. I don't know anything about you. Good. If you did, you would not be able to describe me as mysterious. Did I say that? Hmm. Must have been your eyes. Sphinx. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's good. What? You're laughing. You seem to take away the strain of the last couple of years. That I will never lose. Got another bottle of wine. Seems to come to the end of it. Time we were moving, huh? This Mark Kane of yours, does he always get involved with a woman? Involved, but not committed. <laughs> No commitment. Very wise. Can't afford to be without any wine. Hmm. Yeah. What is it you say in your country? Greater love hath no man. How does he um, always escape? Oh, that would take far too long. I don't think you've got the time.
Make no sudden move, Mr. King. Wouldn't dream of it. Couldn't you come back a little later? You are early. Stand up and raise your hands. Thank you for not disappointing me, Lila. Oh, Brandy, is there a drop left? You saw we finished the wine. Thank you. Very good for the digestion. Somebody to divert you, Zinnia. He should help the time pass. Keep you uh, entertained? Well, I'll do my best. The ambience of the place isn't exactly. Um, is it? Half kind. What am I doing here? Attempting a variation on the Trojan horse. You do read, don't you? I don't understand. Very dramatic. You will, Oscar, you will. And effective, but Berlioz usually is. Look, I will... Shh! Almost my favorite composer. Are they treating you well? Yes. Please, tell me who you really are. An apparently unknown author. Struggling to get out of this plot. Come in. Well, Ora. Excellent news. Word has just come through. The MLF have taken King. Yes. Yes, that is good. But I am still afraid they may be holding him in another place. No, I don't think so. King's explanation was logical. So far, he's been accurate on all counts. Well, we shall find out tonight. We are prepared? We are at total readiness. But how? How can we possibly get out of here? I have no idea. One of those beefy boys pointed his water pistol at me. But, no, there is nothing here. I've had lots of time to search. They are not interested. I wonder if the second part of that concert has started yet. It's now 10.30. Two. I shall be broadcasting our position. Broadcasting? There'll be 12 trucks with troops fanning out from the center of the city. My transmitter has a range of 10 miles at approximately 2.30. One of their receivers will be within range. Then we should be out of here by about 3.30. What are you saying, a transmitter? What transmitter? Would you like a drop of brandy? Would you prefer to deliver the Christmas message? What do you think you're doing? Those prisoners are going to be freed. Freed? I know my father. He will give way at the last moment. Do you mean that... looking for a plot and the whole thing has backfired on me. I don't believe it. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> I am sorry you got into this, Mr. King. Very sorry. Well, you obviously have more faith in your father than I have. <laughs> and all units have drawn a blank. Five o'clock. All right, we can expect nothing more. Recall them. So much for your Mr. King. I don't understand it. His, his transmitter must have failed. What must I do, Ora? The decision is yours, Mr. President. 
finally, yours alone. Perfectly improbable explanation, which happens to be true. Oh. When I got off that plane, do you remember the man who said... What an incredible story. Isn't it? I just can't stop thinking about it. Well, it just goes to show, you see, by doing absolutely nothing, you achieve a great deal. I don't want to sound immodest, but that's exactly what happened. The political prisoners were released. Uh, the president got his daughter back. Well, did you tell the president what she'd done? Uh, no. No, I, I, I just wanted to get away. At that moment, I was feeling a bit... Uh, um, foolish. <laughs> <laughs> 